Uh, just sharpen up. I think uh, when you play a lot of games, you don't get much practice time. So to clean up on you know things that you need to work on around the net, it's a uh, hard lead to, to score in. So try and get better on the net and, and you know when you get opportunities, be able to finish them. So you don't get too much practice time. So stay out to work on stuff uh, helps me a lot. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's more just uh, getting my reps in. Uh, sometimes in practice, uh, you know, you feel like you need some more shots at the at the end of it or something like that, right? So um, sometimes we work on just shooting and getting pucks off quick, and uh, other times uh, we'll get Kirky involved and um, do some just little power play um, scenario type drills, right? So it's uh, it's good, and you know, I just like uh, you know shooting the puck and. You know, getting in those reps. It kind of muscle memory. I think you just uh, off reaction time. You work on it enough, it'll become it'll come easy. So it's uh, definitely something that's uh, never polished. So you can always work on. Yeah. No, it's just a feel thing. Uh, sometimes your shot's going good and you want to keep shooting, or other yeah. times your shot's pretty bad and you say, okay, I, maybe I should shoot, shoot some more or something like that, right? So it's yeah, just yeah. all about feel and. Uh, I, Maybe we play some games or whatever, and you know, we could hit the post and crossbar and do all that. And uh, I usually beat Dubes in that. Uh, Dubes just doesn't have a very good record against me, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's all just fun and games though at the end of practice. You know, that little competition after practices can be uh, you know fun and a good way to get the work done, but also have a little fun with it. Too. Yeah, it's fun. I think there's uh, you know there's a lot of fights between me and him uh, at the end of practice. Uh, a lot of competition. Uh, usually, one of us is storming off the ice at one point, but uh, it's fun. It's good to have a guy like that who you can uh, compete against uh, throughout the years and uh, have some fun against too. I know we have a lot of laughs throughout it. Some some funny stuff usually happens throughout it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always kind of like to compete with uh, whatever we do, tipping or yeah. whatever type of drill it is, right? And we have Kirky. I think uh, usually stirring the pot there for us and trying to get our emotions uh, high. So uh, yeah, he's pretty good at doing that too. Did anybody winning in that category? Yeah, he's probably winning. He's a he's a pure goal scorer. He always beats me. I'm the one uh, storming off the ice usually. I made it today a little bit longer, so this is my pride and joy day today. But I'm usually the first one off. So well, in the winter, my dad uh, used to build the. Uh, ice rink for me, uh, kind of like yourself there, and I used to just shoot pucks uh, there through yeah. through the winter. But um, in the summer times, it was more just uh, in the garage, and yeah, I got a couple holes in my uh, in my parents' uh, garage. I broke a TV in there, yeah. bottles, and uh, the garage yeah. door is still all I think pretty banged up there. So maybe I should buy him a new one. But yeah. uh, it looks looks better with all the puck marks on it. Yeah, so. a little uh, little shooting memorial. There. Yes, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I broke a lot of things in, uh, in the garage. Nothing too important. But uh, yeah, mm. that's where I kind of learned kind of how to shoot. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of kids. Uh, Probably ripped apart their parents' house at some point, hit their, broke some windows, broke some siding. So uh, my brother and I were a part of that, and I'm sure there's a lot of you know, hockey families with uh, black puck marks all over their house. Sure.